Hi, and welcome back to Tarot Life Coach Channel with me, your host, Tanya Melendez. And so this week, we finally go back to normal. Mercury goes out of retrograde. So how wonderful is that for us? And it is also National Psychic Week. So what a wonderful time for us to tap in and listen to our intuition. So what a wonderful week we had. Last week, we had our wonderful full moon, but we are now moving into an energy with Venus and Venus will be in Cancer which is very loving very family oriented but there's also a lot of passion and compassion going around so again let your energy go with the flow but realize that you are very emotional this time and since Mercury is going back to normal things will definitely smooth out and become more even and flowing for us all and so with that said, I'd really like to take a moment to go into our prayer. And today's power words are shifting and awakening. Because now is the time when we are really starting to settle in. And I know last week I talked about going back to school or renewing your spiritual practice. So this week it's all about shifting into that practice, awakening your spiritual self and really coming into that. So with that said, let's just take a moment. Breathing in good, breathing in God knowing right here right now God is all that there is I know that God is compassion love light peace honesty blessings faith prosperity abundance health and wonderful abundance as well as complete wholeness in our body in our cells and our beingness I am knowing that every person listening to these words, including myself, are lifted, raised and praised to the highest vibration of our God selves. How good it is to know God, how good it is to be so grateful right here and right now. So I just let go of last week. I bless this week knowing it is good. It is God. All is wonderful. All is well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. So this week I decided to use my handy dandy ascended masters cards and I just was called to them and this month we will have a another full moon so we have a blue moon period this month so we must recognize what a special time that this August is because we'll have a full moon at the beginning of the month and we'll also have one at the end so and what a beautiful full moon it was it was in the sign of cancer so I was very very emotional felt very uplifted and shifted and so let's see what the um, uh, Ascended Masters have to say about our awakening and our shifting. So I'm just knowing that this message is the divine and perfect message for all of us today. And how wonderful it is. So the first one we got is go now. So what this is saying is stop waiting for something. Stop waiting for you to lose weight. Stop waiting for something else to happen. Stop waiting, stop waiting, stop waiting. It's time to go for it. Go now. Cerebus is saying, I am with you. Go with confidence. Go with drive. Go with motivation. Now is the time. Like I've said, just like kids are going back to school, now is time for you to really center yourself into your awareness, your spiritual practice. Let, allow yourself to be awakened with spirit. Allow yourself to really shift into the energy and the vibration that you've been calling forth in your life. And then we get health and healing. That's why I did a very special because I could feel that somebody out there is really needing a message about health and wholeness within your body. So breathe in the very being of your cells, your skin, your body, your organs, your tissue, everything in your body is alive, is awake, and is aware of the godness that is in, within, breathing in, breathing out good, breathing in God. We are all healthy, whole, and complete right here and right now. Mm. It is so good to know God, especially when we're dealing with the health challenge or with the health challenge of a family member or a friend. So allow yourself to be open to the wholeness and the complete spiritual being that you are from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. And then we have here, detach from drama. So let go of any stories of shoulda, woulda, coulda. This is also about anybody or anything that you felt has been holding you down. Detach from that. You are the only one in control of your happiness. You are the only one in control of your life. So recognize and allow that to be your mantra starting right now. Shifting and awakening our power words. So let's see what the tarot has to say. 
as we shift and awaken into our week of August 6th, National Psychic Week. So it is still nice and hot here in Kiev. I'm imagining it's just as hot as it is in the States. So it's been a wonderful day. I've had some great adventures. I will be posting pictures soon. Uh, I am looking forward to buying a new camera here in Kiev because I realized that I got a new laptop and changed everything around. So, of course, now I've got to put a new program on. So let's see what the tarot has to say for us today. I'm so grateful for the messages from my angels, from the tarot, and from whatever it is that we need to know for all of us. Ooh, so we've got two kings and an ace. So what this is telling me is that we've got a very prosperous, emotional, loving week. So the first one we get is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is all about our worthiness and deservingness. So we are at a place now where we know we are worthy. That is why we got the words today, shifting and awakening, because we are in our place of deserving. Be open to receiving. I am open to the gifts from God, open to all of my best and highest good now. That is where we need to be. And then we get the Ace of Rods. Aces always mean yes, it's a very positive card. Look at all the light. It is a flower. Remember Remember, rods represent our fire and our spirit. So our spirit is saying yes. Our spirit is saying it's time. And so allow this week to be your awakening moment. Whatever is going on, accept it as it is. Move on. Move forward knowing that right here and right now, this is your God moment. This is your awakening moment. And then we get the King of Cups. So this is really about allowing your emotions to go with the flow. Again, detach from drama. Don't allow the past and things from the future, you know, to be what's in our consciousness. Pay attention to what's in front of us right now. Accept what is with gratitude because it could be worse and it will get better. But again, it starts right here. It starts with a thought, then it becomes a feeling, then it becomes an action, and then it's and it's in our consciousness. We have to believe it to receive it. So be open to your shifting. Be open to your awakening. Allow God to bless you this week with the gifts of prosperity, with the gifts of health and wholeness, with the gifts of just perfect harmony in all of your relationships. And again, because Mercury is going, not going out of retrograde and moving right back into its rightful place. And we also have Venus coming into Cancer, which is all about love, passion, family, patience. Be compassionate with yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And again, I just want to send prayers out to my fellow people in the Chicago area. I have heard about the shooting that happened, and I'm just sending so much love and blessings to the temple knowing that we are all surrounded in love, we are all surrounded in peace, and I'm just sending a wave of love and a wave of peacefulness throughout the United States, throughout the world. So if we have a moment, I would love if everyone could just say this power or just breathe in for this one moment. Breathing in peace. Letting go of fear, fear of ignorance, fear and difference, fear and not knowing. I breathe it out. I let it go. I let go of doubt. I let go of worry. I breathe in love, compassion, understanding, and peace. And in this prayer, I'm just adding so many prayers for my Chicago people with the violence, the gun violence because of the summer weather. I'm just sending out a wave of love and of light and of peace throughout my Chicago land, my precious young men of, of color. I'm just sending out this wave of love and light to all of you, knowing that you are guided and protected. And I just know that my angels are right here, right now, surrounding all of those families who lost a loved one this past weekend, or in the month of July, or any time this summer, I'm just, I'm just sending out love and light to each and every one of you. I have been, again, touched by personal tragedy within um, my community, um, again, a young man. So we just have to protect our young people. We have to move to increase the peace and release the violence on our streets wherever you are and you know again I'm just 
I'm grateful for the blessings I have in my life and I'm just sending out ways and ways and loves to everyone who is listening to this video and can hear my voice. So on a lighter note, I just know that all of us are blessed. What a wonderful week we have in store for us. Send blessings and love to all of your friends, all of your family, all of your community, all of the world this week. Let this week be the week that we can have a violent free week throughout our world. Somewhere, somebody needs this prayer, and so I'm just sending it to you today. So until next week, everyone, peace and blessings. Know that you are love, you are the light, and you are blessed. Until next week.